six, five, four, three. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to take a little road trip today down to Huntsville, Alabama, to the NASA Air and Space Museum there. Ready to go? I'm ready. I was born ready. <laughs> well, let's go. We'll let's have a good go. day. Yeah. See you there. See you there. Uh, Air and Space Museum in Huntsville, Alabama. What are we going to see here? Uh, they have a lot of different exhibits that has to do with NASA's early time and the missions to the moon, stuff with the space shuttle. This is where space camp is held too. When kids sign up for space camp, this is where they come. It's an SR-71. After you get your tickets and you enter into the auditorium, the first thing you'll see is an exhibit on space telescopes. They have an interactive kids play area on the right, a lot of things to learn about space and the space program. There's a military exhibit here on the left. This section highlights how rockets are used in the military and a futuristic uniform or maybe it's a spacesuit. As you move through the exhibits you have a choice, a couple ways to go. That thing looks a little bit intimidating. Somebody was brave enough to give it a shot though. Wouldn't recommend this right after lunch. This section goes into an area that has mock-ups of the inside of the International Space Station. also use it as part of the space program training and for space camp for kids. A space Station Food Pantry. Not sure that looks real appetizing though. When you want to get your exercise in space, you have to strap yourself to this treadmill on a wall. And then when it's time to go to sleep, here's your bunk. They have sort of a sleeping bag hanging on the wall there. Pack yourself into that so you don't float away while you're taking a nap.
Pretty neat walking through this and seeing the space the astronauts have to work with. Wouldn't be good if you were claustrophobic though. sure if this thing's interesting or a little bit scary. Prototype of a robot astronaut. According to the sign, apparently it even has legs now. Exactly, first class. Part of the outdoor display is this replica of Skylab. Wonder how many people remember this thing. to this building, there's a Saturn V rocket laid on its side running the whole length of the building. It's amazing the size and scale of this thing. These Saturn V rockets are what took the astronauts to the moon. You have to see it in person to understand the scale of this thing. of the landing module. And of course, the lunar rover. That one looks like fun. Of course, like any good tourist attraction, there has to be a gift shop before you leave. There's stuff that's kind of cute in here, especially if you have kids or grandkids. And the adult toys, of course. These things were interesting. One, zero, all engines running. We have a liftoff, liftoff on Apollo 11. Zero. Four forward, drift into the right a little. 30 seconds forward, drift. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Rocket Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. Thanks for coming with us on this road trip. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.